Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be making gimpap, another word for sushi but in a different shape. So what you're going to need is cooked sushi rice, some seaweed paper, water to paste, um, soft cheese and salmon. You can use whatever thing you like, vegetable or meat or whatever. These are the two I like so I'm going to be using them. And you're going to need cling film. So I've cut out this shape to make um, a triangle to make the gimpap. So let's get started. So first you're going to get your cling film and put it on the chopping board or your rip, rip top. Like that. And then you're going to get your sushi and your seaweed paper and place on top of it then you're going to get your triangle shape you can do it a square shape or round or whatever I'm using triangle and you're going to fill it in with the rice tightly in with your fingers and then press it down and lift the paper up there you go triangle shape then you can be spreading it with cheese on top and then you're gonna get a salmon smoked salmon I'm just going to tear it up, doesn't matter about the shape and just, just going to layer it on top like so then you're going to be pasting all the edges with water Closing them in carefully, but tightly. Don't worry too much about the shape, you can do that afterwards. It will all come in shape afterwards. There you go. And then you're going to be tying your cut there. Clean film. And we're gonna wrap it up tightly with the cling film. Like so. So I'll show you again. Get sushi paper. Get the triangle. 
triangle shape. Stuff it in with the rice. Press it firmly with your hand so it forms the shape. And it's a good thing because sushi rice are kind of sticky so even if it doesn't come out to the shape you can shape it up afterwards press it down and lift the paper up there we go Spread it with the cheese on top. If you like your cheese, um, I'm putting it in thickly. I love my cheese. And you can have that with soy sauce and wasabi paste. So then get your smoked salmon. Paste the edges and wrap them up. Got a little messy. There we go. Triangle shape. Put the closed edges at the bottom. And wrap it tightly with the clean cloth. And there we go, wrapped up. I've done three here. So what you're going to do next is you're going to leave it in the fridge for a couple of hours. And then you're good to go. Kimbaps. Now I'm going to show you how to do the sushi rolls. With the same, same, but into rolls. You're gonna you're gonna need to wet your knife so the it doesn't stick to the rice knife or spoon whatever you're using. You're gonna press it down and spread it. See if you didn't wet your knife, it would have all stuck to. To, and the rice would have stuck to the knife. And you're going to basically spread it all over the sushi, um, the seaweed paper.
I've got a sushi roll and I've got the bamboo um, mat thing where you roll it, bamboo roll. But I don't really like using the um, sushi. There's a tube thing. I don't really like using that. So there we go. We spread it the rice over. Then we're gonna in the middle in a row. We're gonna put in the cheese spread. You can use prawn, you can use any other fish, seafood, seafood sticks, um, meat, beef, veg. Totally up to you. So you're going to do is get one sheet, hold it there, get another one. so and then you're gonna just yeah then with the cling film you're gonna roll it once over tightly bring it back like so and you're just tightly gonna very tightly roll it and then I'm gonna wrap it tightly with the pink film like before and you're just gonna roll it close the edges tightly There you go guys, got a sushi roll, so I'm going to leave that for a couple of hours inside the fridge as well till it sets and then I'll show you how to cut them. Right now it's been about a couple of hours, I've got it out of the fridge and I'm going to get them out of the cling film. And I'm going to wet the knife in water and I'm going to slowly cut them through. You need to wet the knife so the rice doesn't stick and it cuts smoothly through. So every two cuts, just give it a wash with water. I can actually live off sushi. At one point, for morning, afternoon, evening, all I had was sushi. Now you cut them through. Can you see? Would have looked nicer with some greens in, but hey. Now let's open the gimpa.
There we go, guys. Impact. So I'm going to slice that in half and see. Normally just bite into it. And there we go. Yes, I took a bite into it. That's so yummy. The cheese makes it so delicious. So here, I put some light soy. I usually prefer dark soy, but this is light soy, and I put a bit of um, wasabi in it as well. So yeah, give it a mix with the so mixing. Okay. Yeah, it's so good. So, oh, guys, if you like, share, subscribe, hit the bell button so you'll be notified when I next upload. And until then, bye.